All right, what's good YouTube? Today I'm starting out a new series going into MW3, basically breaking down my initial thoughts of the hardpoint rotations that are being released with these new MW3 maps. Obviously, they were the old MW2 2009 maps, uh, but we never played hardpoint on them, so we're now getting a new, fresh set of hills for these maps. So I'll break down the map in terms of my initial thoughts on how I think the map could possibly be played, but I'd like to theory craft out with you guys in this video and also kind of compare what we did on that Twitch stream and see if we got any of the hills correct or if we like those hills better or whether the sledgehammer did a better job than us so we'll see what it's like first we're starting out with invasion hardpoint so let's get right into it all right so we'll start off with invasion here honestly in my opinion it kind of looks like a pretty decent rotation and we got pretty close to it in our predictions back on the twitch stream but honestly i really think it's going to play out pretty well based on this rotation and i think it's just going to be a good map in general for hardpoint so let's get right into it so we start out with p1 it's going to be right in this cafe over here we actually in our predictions had it in the middle of the map but honestly now that i think about it that cafe that face spot is so much better. I don't know why we ended up going towards the middle of the map. I know it was between the both of those two, but we ended up deciding towards that B Dom point. But I really do actually like this first, first P1. We have different areas of where we actually can enter the hill, whether it's through this back door over here, we can go from the side door and into the cafe this way, or we can go through the middle of the map here. So there's different ways to actually hold this. We also have the ability to see through the cafe from this window. You can't actually see it from this side, so that gives a little bit of an advantage to this side of the map because you can see and kind of kill anyone that might be playing inside of the hill uh, through those bars there. If you go back to that Invasion B Rush video that I did just a few days ago, you can go and look how you can actually see anyone from the hill through these bars on this side of the map and kill anyone this way or also see people that are trying to get through this side door. So this side of the map can be really beneficial. And I actually do believe this balances out that P1 just a little bit because I believe uh, the spawns on this side, at least in the search destroy back in the day you would have the initial timing to get into the cafe through here so it was actually a way to beat it on this side of the map so with this ability to actually kill anyone in p1 on this side there is a sort of give and take between those two sides so i actually do really like that as a p1 uh, compared to what we predicted before now we'll move on to p2 and p3 which we actually got completely correct in our prediction video we had the p2 over here at the b bomb site and then the p3 at this uh, river house so this was called river back in the day so this was the river house this will be p3 we actually got both of these hard points correct and in the correct order so that was a really cool prediction out of us and honestly these do look like really good hills in terms of being across the map from each other again p1 in the middle of the map usually that contest heavy hill you're going to have a second hill that's more towards one side and could be locked down as a money hill so let's say uh, we have p2 over here and then you have spawns towards this b street or back towards the water over here and you're converging onto the hill and maybe even a back spawn over here so i actually do think that p2 really does work out in terms of how spawns could possibly work and i do believe it's just a good area for the hill in general you do have your two spawns out here and then you have this middle cut so there are going to be different avenues to break the hill two distinct spawns that could possibly be away from each other and then with how these spawns work out they can have foot races to the p3 based on each of the sides that they're covering so we'll clean this up just a little bit obviously once again p3 over here so going into p3 just initial thoughts i think it's going to be really important to just keep this side of the map in your favor because p4 in this map is actually going to be in the middle of this building so if you can hold down this area of the map and these spawns on this side of the map you're really going to set yourself up really well to start chaining the p3 and the p4 together just because they are on the same side of the map usually you do see hills you know going back and forth from one side of the map to the other but in this case you see p3 and p4 basically on this same side of the 50 yard line of the map so what it's actually just going to end up being is just a battle for these close spawns on the p3 and for the close spawns on the p4 as well so think about it this way like if we have close spawns p3 over here and p4 over here and then let's say for the p3 you have outer spawns you know over here and over here or p4 you have outer spawns over here and over here like think about it in that sense the close good spawns that you want for p3 and p4 are on the same side of the map so you're just going to hold that down the entire time between those two hills so honestly in my opinion i think this is going to be a possibility for a lot of 120 point swings you know you saw that a lot back in slums in black ops 2 with p3 
3 and P4, the Junkyard, and then the Garage Hill. I think this resembles this a lot just because of how the hard points are placed, you know, back to back with each other, holding on that same side of the map. So really expect teams to try and battle towards this side of the map, keep those spawns, and then try and chain both of these two hills together. Now, in terms of actually playing this P3, look at these lines of sight. Like if you get an AR backed over here towards this tank, and you can just hold this entire riverside for your team, it's going to be really hard to kill anyone off of this tank and just in this area in general, as long as they're holding down these longer lanes. Like if you get a setup AR over here, it's going to be super easy to hold this hill if you have like a sub that's just playing inside the hill for you soaking times. So once you get a quick break on that P3, I can see teams holding this for a ton of hard point time. Honestly, to me, it actually really does resemble that P3 junkyard hill on slums. It's it's really the same way how the junkyard was where it's kind of enclosed and in order to actually break the hill, you have to kind of overextend into the hill to actually get anyone in it. But you also have to worry about that entire full on lane that you need to be coordinating people to get through to to get actually into the hill. So honestly, it does kind of look like that P3 junkyard hill to me. Uh, you know, if we want to even take it further, this is like the laundry spawns back in the Black Ops 2. So initially just looking at the overview of it, this is what it kind of reminds me of. And then to the P4, kind of the same thing. If you can get an AR onto like one of these headies over here and you can just keep watching this entire B lane, that's going to be a really easy way to hold down this hill. Combine that with another AR that might be on this trash heady. You have a good X cross. You know, we talked about this before. The X cross setup right here is already shaping up to be something really easy to do. And let's say you got a sub already in the hill, just soaking it by himself. You can already see these types of setups that can be created. And honestly, I just did that specific setup on the fly. Like I'm not going into this with setups already in mind. That was something to just cross my mind literally right now. So honestly, you know, that type of setup could work. And then you have like a roamer inside DVD that can be really disruptive on anyone that's trying to break on in that might have spawned out like over here. So, you know, you can really see how this map could possibly even play out just right now. And I haven't even spawned into it. So honestly, we do have to see what the spawns are like, but based on how this map looks like it could be played, that definitely looks like a setup that could work uh, when you're trying to hold the hill. And I think this sets up a really interesting dynamic with this P5. And honestly, I believe this is going to be the biggest money hill for this map and maybe even for the entire game, just because of the way it's set up back in this back castle here. So this is gonna be P5. You see these high walls, you see the choke points, very, very small choke points. And it's gonna be a really easy hold for a lot of these teams because they're gonna be set up in this castle or outside pushed up over here. It's gonna be really hard clears. And if you just get one wave all holding this, you can start getting pushed up just a little bit, keep one person on hill and keep people on the overwatch using these vertical positions. It's just gonna be honestly the hardest hill to break because of how deep it is on the map and because of the verticality that you can get while you're holding the hill and the choke points are just so hard to get through. In my opinion, this is going to be one of those full 60 hills and this is really gonna be important because it kind of is a trade-off for those P3, P4s. So if you get stuffed on those P3, P4s, let's say they chained it, maybe got like 90 points. If you can you know, settle it back down with a full 60, you get right back in the game, even though you got pretty much shut out for two straight hills. So honestly, I do really think it's gonna be a way to get back into the game uh, with this one hill because of how easy it probably will be to hold. And if you guys had kept up with my COD improvement series on YouTube, remember what we talked about with Hardpoint Macro and what you could do with deep hills like this. You can set up that trap setup. So let's go back to the P1. So we're moving back to that P1 on that rotation. Let's say you are not on scrap. The opponent is on that P5 scrap. You wanna start trapping them into this base so that they cannot leave and cannot escape and try and set up for that P1. So what you can do is, you know, cover these lanes, make sure that they're not escaping for free and get out and start possibly flipping spawns and getting out of that trap. Make sure that if they're gonna hold that P5 for that full time, they're gonna pay for it by being trapped going into that P1 and you can have a really good setup to start the P1. And all you need to do is get someone in new to start, but also just maintain control of these two cuts. If you have someone watching this mid lane for anyone trying to go through the mid door or you have anyone on these Jeeps towards the river trying to play this trap and it can back up and basically watch this back entrance there. That's the only two entrances that they can break the hill on in from. So you can have those two areas covered and can really soak this P1, which should be a contest hill for some really good points if you can really get set up that way. 
So that's the rotation for Invasion. I actually don't mind it at all. I actually think it's going to be a really good hardpoint map for this year. I'd be really surprised if we didn't play it. Honestly, maybe some bias, but I do believe our rotation was a little bit better. We had the same P2 and P3, uh, but we had P4 be this hill and then P5 be on the other side towards this gas station. So the P3 and P4 were a little bit more split than they are right now being on the same side of the map. But honestly, I do think this is a really cool concept where they, we do have the P3 and P4 on the same side, and then you have to trade it off with this final P5. It can possibly be a really big money hill. So I actually think it's gonna be really interesting to see the ways that teams play uh, this map specifically on the P3, P4, P5. So it really becomes a mind game and really has to do with basically what the score is at the time and how teams are gonna play it that way. In my opinion, uh, if you don't break on into that P3, you're gonna try and make that P4 mixy, but still maintain uh, control of this side and then try and trade it off with that money hill in the p5 overall i think it's a pretty decent hard point rotation i'm actually pretty excited for it let me know what you guys think in the comments do you guys like this rotation do you guys expect invasion to be one of the comp maps i definitely do uh, but thank you guys for watching thank you guys for making it to the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one